Ten days after the ceasefire, the Patriarch of Jerusalem, Archbishop Fuad Tual, tried to make sense of the deaths that the conflict in Gaza has left among his flock. For us Christians, we lost three Christian uh, young people. Uh, one, one the, the first Christine, the first girl who died was from, from, she was only afraid. Only afraid. She was trembling and she couldn't respire and she, she died only from, from fear, only from uh, angustia. Aware of the suffering of his people in the Gaza Strip, the Patriarch has tried to be as close to them as possible. Now that Israel has reopened access to Gaza under some conditions, the Patriarch is hoping to go there himself. But in the same time, we, uh, leaders of religious communities all together, we gathered two days ago and we are planning to go to Gaza on the 4th of January. The Pope himself wanted to comfort the Christian community in Gaza, and so he sent his nuncio with some money to help them. The nuncius went with the, with the help directly to give it to the people, to Father Manuel, and there they will distribute here. The Pope did not spare any effort in speaking for peace and condemning the violence, while he awaited for official confirmation of his trip to the Holy Land, a trip that might possibly be postponed. In fact, we have uh, some committees to prepare to think about in the same time, but you know, we know that the actual situation it is not, not the best situation to receive the Pope. We hope that everything will be improved and we hope that the visit of the Pope can be a blessing for us all, can help us to have better relations between peoples, better relations between Christians, that's ecumenical level, and better relation between Israel and Arabs. Yes, the visit of the Pope might be postponed, but the Archbishop encouraged Christians not to delay their personal pilgrimages to the Holy Land. For sure, I say don't be afraid, the war is finished, this is Jerusalem with, with violence and with peace and with, but come, come, come to see us, to pray with us and for us. Uh, we welcome everybody, we welcome our Christians and they will be happy to receive them here in the Patriarchate so we can meet, we can pray, they can ask, we welcome everybody. A visit to the holy places is not only a spiritual adventure, but an effective contribution to the church in the Middle East and a calling for peace all over the world.